fucking twenty one, you know. Who was it? It was just some fucking that little white dude and, that's, and some fucking white ass security guard to fucking go tea. This guy was cool. He kept telling me, but he told me about four or five times you can't go murder your gun, boom. And I was like, let's get these fuckers. I was like, we outnumbered him. Came in there, we fucking started swinging. We got him all. Of course, the other guys came in, but by the time the other guys came in, I was around the dance floor. But then by that time, they tried to fucking shut the whole thing down. I was like, what the fuck happened to MCK? Everyone was leaving. They're like, oh, it's over, bro. I was like, no, no. I was like, can't be over. I just got out of here. I was like, come on, bros. I was fucking pleading to the guy who was shutting everyone down. I was like, let's let MGK come back out. He's like, it's over, bro. It's over. Plus, you got X's on you. I was like, just a little white hockey. I just want to have a good time. Go to the box. Everyone was telling me, go to the box. Go to the box. And then Casey's like... Oh, yeah, I found you. Let's go to the box. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the box. Then went to the box. So it's Steve, what's up? You know, dance floor, fucking all in the middle of that fucking bitch. But you know what? Just because Casey was sick, I came back and I tried to help her in my car and I'll help her get wherever she needs to go and she's too drunk. Hope she remembers that. Hope she remembers that. So good with my friend. I'm. Because otherwise, any other person would try to stay there, especially in the position I was in. I was in the middle. There was fucking a black chick and a fucking white chick right next to me. I was like, God damn it, Steve. Why don't we do this every fucking weekend? But you know I don't get a chance to because it gets expensive. And Casey's idea. It was all Casey's idea. So I fucking was like, I'm all for Casey. She wants to go. She wants to go. She wants to go. We're bonds. We bonds. Just because she's my girlfriend. And I don't care what she does. She knows that. You know? I just took that risk of hopefully I'd be able to fucking do something in that moment of time. How's your whiskey, man? It's fucking rough. <laughs> Take a big drink. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. He's a motherfucker. I know, man. <laughs> You got about $4,000 TV, you got about $3,000. Don't fucking lie to me, because my sister told me how much TV you like that thin are. For real? Yeah. And they, and she, I fucking had a, a conniption right there. She was like, oh, yeah. I was like, this must be like a fucking $1,500, or you know, a $2,000 TV. She's like, it's about four grand, and I fucking flipped the shit right there. What the fuck is my granddad? I was like, how do you make these so thin? I was like, you know, just questions, questions. I was like, how the fuck did you get, why? I was like, how did Steve, he's a farmer, how did he write off a TV? I was like, four grand, she just fucking show me. Just like your TV, just fucking thin, all the way across. Biggest one you could get, four grand, I was like, no, fucking way. Through a holy fit right there today. Show me this fucking brand new 2012 Articat. It's a 1200. 12 fucking 100, Terry. You know what that means. That means fucking scary shit happens. That means I ain't fucking lying for very long. I thought I was gonna die.